And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend set. It's the New York Yankees taking on the Houston Astros. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Now, both sides, this game really matters as the postseason is approaching. Well, at this point of the year, guys are a little bit tired, but you've got to find a way to dig deeper and bring out your best with so much opportunity to be able to punch your ticket for October. Just about set to go. And yeah, the right-hander with the good curveball, Lance McCullers Jr. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. Liner, base hit. Around first and hustling for second. Check that. He'll stop at first with a single after putting on the brakes. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. And he'll one. They say it went. The 0 2. And that one is lifted in the air. Leon in position. And out number one on the grab. And time now to check out the New York Yankees lineup. One of the more high-powered lineups in the game right now. It's built to do damage, and they got some guys that can punish the baseball, Chris. So fun to watch these guys take their at-bats. I mean, they're so disciplined. Don't give not just at-bats away, but really pitches away. Very aggressive, competitive in the zone. And when they connect, there's usually some loud noise to it. So we'll keep our ears open today. He swings and fouls one off. McCullers a move to first. Peraza back in standing. Peraza leads off first with one away. Grounder might be two. Pena over to second, and that's two. One hit in the inning, but no. In Houston, and Aaron Boone going with the right-hander Luis Severino. What do you have on him, Siggy? Well, Boone, maybe a little pedestrian there in terms of the ERA, but with those numbers, you expect to be in a ball game and have an opportunity to win. And really, that's all his teammates can ask for. So we'll see if he's able to be consistent in this one. One ball, one strike. That's big right there. Being able to check your swing. Think about the count swing. Instead of 0-2, he's sitting 1-1 against a really good arm. Severino that one missing inside on the ground right side one up one down now we check out the Astros lineup one guy swinging a hot bat recently, Alex Bregman. He's been a solid force for his team right now. Kind of a fire starter when you consider an on-base percentage over 400 over the last 10 games. That's solid, consistent no, work. He's making things happen for this offense right now. There's the strike. That's inside. Severino kicks deals. That one's in there. Two balls, two strikes. Good zip on that fastball at the bottom of the zone. If he's there all day, it's going to be a tough one for the hitters. Swing and a ball popped up. That one gets down for a hit.
He went up there and got it with two strikes. I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where you could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there coming back in that at bat. You're Don Alvarez in the box now. No balls and a strike. Three for eight in the series coming in. Chris Alvarez has turned into one of the best young hitters, maybe one of the best hitters in all of baseball. He's got some of the most raw power in the entire game. The 0-2. Fouls it back with two strikes. Yeah, and won that Silver Slugger Award in 2022 in a slugging percentage of 613 and OPS over 1,000. No, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. Next pitch misses. And that's ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there in the mound. Next offering that's misses, and yeah, that's ball two. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking at bat. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers. Out there. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance, and that's going to roll to the wall. Safely into second. He's got a double. Cut off. Now a throw home. And he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. Always exciting to see a play at the plate. Try to score with two outs, but the tag just gets him in time. And they cut down the run to end the inning. Second inning, set to go. And now the DH, Kyle Higashioka. The why to kick the pitch. And downstairs. That misses the zone. Ball two. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Yeah, now two balls and a strike. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. McCullers winds fires. On a line, base hit. He needed out one. It's been a tough stretch to play lately. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Runner at first with no outs here. Into center. Leon under it. Pulls it in for the out. The relay throw. Now a throw to first, and he won't get back in time. It's a double play. Labor Torres up to hit. On the ground to short. Pena whips it to first on the run. And that is that. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the second, and stepping in for the Astros, Jose Abreu. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. On the ground, right side. Sends it to first. That takes care of Abreu. And now it's Alex Bregman. Bregman. And a foul ball. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. In there at the knees, and that is strike two. Larry Bullard, our umpire behind the plate. But Bullard's got a pretty standard strike zone. Sometimes they'll have you guessing a little bit, but overall, well-respected umpire in the league. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Going 
goes down looking. Boog, he was shopping at the buckle right there, the way that slider made him look. That was just nasty. And now, Jeremy Pena. And that's in there for strike one. And there's a foul ball. And the 0-2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Wow, he got away with a mistake right there. Caught him looking for the K. 1-2-3 go the Astros. We'll move to the third with no score. New inning getting started. Here's Stanton now. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Here comes a pitch. Swings through that one. McCullers, a former All-Star, 29 years old, a former first-round pick back in 2012. That misses, and the count is one and one. There's a strike. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. Pitch misses and the count is even two and two. And now the count filled up three and two. Out towards right center. That's well struck. Tucker going back. Still going back. Gone! His 31st home run of the season, and it gives him the lead in the third. It's playing wiffle ball up there and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run to the slight opposite field into the gap man making it look easy that's for sure and now Bader up to the plate that's in for a strike always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning Rip to short. Over to Abreu. And Bader is set down. Batting on. The catch at number 39. Jose. Here's Jose Trevino. Hitless in the series so far. He's 0 for 7. Trevino, a former gold glove winner, hitting ninth in today's lineup. And they went out and made a trade for him last season. Now fly ball to right center. Leon settles underneath it. Puts it away for the out. The battle. The short shot. Oswald Peraza stepping in now for the Yankees. Ball one there. What a no. Swing and a miss. Yeah, the count even at one. The pitch. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Lee makes the play, and that is that. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. It's now a one-nothing ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Softly, cause you like the gas tank over Mr. Softies in the wind that ain't feeling you. Ready to go for the last Lee half of the up, inning. Up, At the Astros. plate is the Astros catcher, Corey Lee. Severino back to work. Lee, 24 years old, and he's driven in eight runs over his last 10 games. The pitch. Now wanted a one. Oh. 
And that's in for a strike. Goes down swinging for the strikeout. He notches strikeout number 150 this season. And now Pedro Leon. Fouled off down the right side. Swing and a miss. Okay. And it's 0 2. That oh. one missed. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. No messing around with the pitch calling in that sequence right there. Four pitches, all fastballs. Yeah, and that makes me think that was the plan before the at-bat even started. If you think you can simply just beat a guy with only your fastball, why throw him anything else until he shows you he can handle it? Left-hand hitter waits. Popped up right side. And that will end the inning. Astros are down quietly, and it remains 1-0. Welcome back. John Chompy with Chris Singleton, and set to lead off the fourth, Anthony Volpe. The wind of the pitch. And that's downstairs and outside. One ball, no strike. They say you win. One ball, one strike. Here's a one to one. And a foul ball. Hey. And down on strikes. And one gone. Well, he locked him up with the cutter on the outside right there, and I got to think he was looking middle in because he just couldn't pull the trigger. And you know, with two strikes, fastball coming in, you've got to be ready to swing it. And that time it cut to the outside part of the plate, and he just couldn't pull the trigger. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. On the ground right side, and it stays fair. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And Aaron Judge cruising into second. He's got a double. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job. The other way. So, man aboard. So now the Yankees cleanup hitter, Kyle Higashioka. One for one with a single so far. Oh, right to the backstop. So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. Well, he's got nobody to blame but himself. With one out, a runner on third can come home all sorts of ways now. That's why as a pitcher, you have to execute pitches even better when they're runners on base. High fly ball, right field. Tucker should have it. And he makes the catch. Runner tags from third. Throw is offline, and he scores. And they take a two-run lead. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. And here is Anthony Rizzo. Ball one, no strikes. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. Got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. He'll circle the bases, his 34th of the season, and they add to their lead. It's 3-0.
really, really crushed that thing down the line, and everyone had to hold their breath until it clanked off the pole. And every time that happens, it just kind of feels like a trick shot or something. But really, it's just a stroke of luck that it stays fair long enough. Here's Glaber Torres. And takes low for ball one. Riding to the plate. So two balls and no strikes. McCullers maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Yeah, that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. So they get two runs on two hits. One of them left the yard to the bottom of inning number four now. Yankees three and the Astros nothing. And welcome back. Bottom of the fourth, stepping in, Michael Brantley. And a pitch. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. To the right side. Collected by Torres. Slings to first. And a quick out number one. I wasn't sure if he was going to get to this one or not. Had to go a pretty good way there in the shallow right field. But then after that, it's a tough angle after you square up your shoulders to throw to first base. Not the normal position, but a really good job defensively right there. Here's Jordan Alvarez. There's a swing and a drive. And it's gone. He circles the bases, and they cut into the lead. It's 3-1. some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. It would have been a long strike, but instead, batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. We'll say Altuve up to it here. And that's in for a strike. Singh, you think about all the success Altuve's had in the postseason, including the walk-off homer off of the Yankees and Aroldis Chapman in 2019. Only Manny Ramirez has more postseason home runs in Major League history. Pitch misses, two balls and a strike. Yeah, Jose Altuve really tells you a lot about how he's able to play the game and feel no pressure, just performing at a high level in the postseason, and no doubt he's been a big part of a couple of the Houston Astros World Series championships. On the ground, out to short, and it finds its way through for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Back-to-back no, 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 no. base, base hits. Base. Just one of those seen okay. high base hits through the oh, infield. Right Just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. That one found hard the other way. Altuve stands at first with one out. Next offering is in for a strike. Line drive. Bader grabs it on the run. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself oh, it's yeah. about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. Bregman stands in now and watches strike one. The next pitch misses, and it's one and one. Well, certainly doing his very best out there on the mound to bring that win streak to a halt. 
And another ball. Swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. Well, and those hitters count sometimes. Can be a little too aggressive. Altuve runs. Gets a piece and stays alive. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. Spoils the two-strike pitch and he'll see another. And he gets Bregman. Good job at damage control right there. Astros not your run on the solo homer. And this is now a 3-1 ball game. Back here at Minute Maid Park, Giancarlo Stanton at the play. Giancarlo Stanton. And a pitch. The other way, and he beats the shift. Well, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Here's the center fielder, Harrison Bader. And the first pitch misses for ball one. You know, these Yankees doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. The numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit every inning, and they've only struck out twice, so they keep finding ways to put their bat on the ball. In for a strike, and it's one and one. Next one misses, and it's two and one. Nobody out, runner at first. Next offering is downstairs. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. And the right hander's 3 1. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. And that one hammered. That's back. Hits the fence. Bader into second, and he's got a double. Pena with a relay home. Now a dive for the tag, and he gets him. State to cover on that play defensively. A long throw to the cutoff, man, and then a lot of ground to make up as well on the relay. But an excellent job of execution and getting that out at the dish as he tried to make it home all the way from first base. And stepping in for the Yankees, Jose Trevino. He's 0 for 1. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. The 0-1. One 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 Bullpen strike. activity starting up now. Hunter Brown getting loose out there. Taylor warming up as well. One one now to the right side and he handles it himself for the out. Up next to the Yankee, the shortstop Oswald. Oswald Peraza stepping in now for the Yankees. First offering misses badly for ball one. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. And he hits a ground ball right side. He steps on the bag. Third out. No runs on two hits. No errors. And one man left. 
Last half of the fifth coming up. Yankees three and the Astros one. Back here in Houston, we head to the bottom of the fifth. And stepping in for the Astros, Jeremy Pena. Flips the corner, strike one. Jeremy Pena, Chris, what a story. 2022 and the impact he had in the playoffs. He was not only the ALCS MVP, but he was also the World Series MVP when the Astros won it all. Oh, and two now. Next offering is outside. I think what's so impressive is that he had some really big shoes to fill in Carlos Correa departing as a free agent. And this kid looked like he'd been in the big leagues for a much longer time than he had. Very impressive on both sides of the ball. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. Now batting. Catcher. Here's Corey Lee. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Pitch misses inside. One and oh. Good eye right there. Two and oh to Cal. Here it comes. And there's a ball. Well, I would expect in this 3 0 Cal, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. That just oh, missed. He walked him on four pitches. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and the guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Leon at the plate for the second time as he takes ball one. The other way, and there's a hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. The throw in, and he's safe. So it's first and third with one down. So because of the injury, a replacement needed at third. And here's the pinch runner, Martin Maldonado. Here's Kyle Tucker. Pulls that one foul. He's sitting on 99 career homers. We'll see if this is the moment to notch number 100. Pitch misses there. One ball, one strike. Good speed on the base pass. He Next pitch has popped up. Volpe pulls it down, and there are two away. Well, that's what he's looking for with the fastball above the zone. A swing and miss or weak contact. Now Michael Brantley steps in. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. This one in the air right field. He can't get there. It's a base hit. One runs in. Now a second crosses the plate. Back even, it's 3-3. Three, three. He's safe at third. It's a two-run triple. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. <laughs> now it's Jordan Alvarez. He's already homered in this game. First offering, misses the mark. Brantley at third with two away. That's in there, and the count one and one. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. In comes the runner from third, it's 4-3. Oh, he throws it away. Everything came together for him. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. And he deals. Strike two. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. 
That one misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Here's a rocket out to left. Stan makes the catch inning over. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. We're through five. It's the Astros four and the Yankees three. So coming into the game now on defense, Martin Maldonado. He takes over behind the plate. Here's the third baseman, Anthony Volpe. And a pitch. Swing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field. Way back there. And forget it. He made him pay for that one. And we are all tied up. It's 4-4. Four -four. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at-bat. You watch him from the on-deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. Manager out of the dugout now, and he'll make a move to dip into the Astros' bullpen. McCullers gets the hook. And it's a tie ball game as he heads for the dugout. Back with a new arm after a quick break. Astros go to the pen, and here comes Hunter Brown. And he comes on here for the first time this season, and I'm sure there's some nerves involved in that, so we'll see how he settles in. It's Aaron Judge now. Hoping to lock up a home run title down the stretch. He leads the league right now. Swing and a miss. Going oh, part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. And it's even up. One ball, one strike. The pitch. Judge rips that one. Leon going back, back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot. Turned around and made a nice catch. Higashioka stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. And a pop-up. Right side. Foul territory. Makes the catch. And there's two down. No, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Coming off an absolute bomb in his last at bat. Brown, 24 years old, and he was a fifth round pick back in 2019. Yeah, he swings and misses, and it's no nothing at one. Well, you know, with two out and nobody on, it's going to take something special to get a run across, so why not? you got some pop. Swing for the fences. A dive. He's got it. Throw to first. Low throw, and he can't take it out. Well, that one right there had the looks of one of those plays of the week. Great diving stop, but he just couldn't set up to make a good throw. Maybe got a little too excited. He was probably feeling it as well, but either way, that's a tough play and a tough error. Two outs, runner at first. Here's the second baseman, Glaber Torres. And that one is inside. One ball, no strike. Rizzo off of first with two away. Not close with that no one. Strike. And the count is 2-0. Oh. Next pitch has popped up. And Glaber Torres retired. That is the inning. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. All even now at four apiece.
back here at the ballpark. Bottom of the sixth inning. Jose Abreu up to hit. A wind in the pitch. Swings and misses. And that's strike one. Abreu, a former rookie of the year, 36 years old. He joined the team as a free agent. That one fouled off. Right hander kicks deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Here's the 0 2. Up the middle. Throw on to Rizzo. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Here's Alex Bregman, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. First pitch just misses. And delivers oh. outside. Struggled a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2 and 0. That one missed. Now 3 and 0. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Runner on at first with one gone. And next to hit for Houston, Jeremy Pena. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. New pitcher for the Yankees, Jonathan Loisica. And he's had three days off since he pitched last, so expect him to be totally rested. I'm sure he's itching for this opportunity right now. And first offering is fouled off. Tied at four. Misses inside. And it's a ball to strike. Ground ball to first. Could be two. Rizzo. Toss to second. Over to first. Safe. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Martin Maldonado up to hit. Came into the game as a pinch runner. This is his first trip to the plate in this one. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Maldonado measures six feet even, 230 pounds, and he was born in Puerto Rico. The 2-0 is in for a strike. the other way makes the play and it's out number three one left for Houston we go to the top of the seventh John Carlos Stanton to the plate now he's a big strong guy can untie this game with one swing Brown back to work and that one fouled off other thing in this part I mean he could sneeze one over the left field wall into those Crawford box seats that one close, rule the ball. One ball, one strike. Next pitch has popped up. And there's one away. Well, oh, that's a frustrating into the at-bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics, and instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Bader in the box again. Takes a strike. Well, we call that key holy. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Uh-oh. That got him. And the potential winning run is aboard. Now that can happen when you're trying to dive out over the plate so you can control the outer half. Very difficult to get out of the way of good velocity in.
ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. And the go-ahead run into scoring position. One away. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. So up next, Oswald Peraza. First pitch doesn't find the zone. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. They say you win. One Next offering is in for a strike. Lifted in the air right center field. Leon gliding as he moves to his left. Nice grab on the run. Runner tags up for third. And he moves up a base. So two away with runners at the corners. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Bader, the runner at third. Trevino at first, two out of the inning. That misses the zone, and it's 2-0. Oh. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Way inside, gets out of the way. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Tied at four. There's a strike. And the 3 1. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Ground ball, left side. To second, Altuve. That's out number three. Yank strand a pair. Bottom of the seventh. And now the center fielder, Pedro Leon. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Good eye right there. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. That pitch gets the corner. That's strike one. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Now that's a really dangerous base runner to put on first, especially in a tie game. Now there might be some consequences coming from that mistake. No throw, safe at second. Next pitch misses inside. And now it's even one and one. Bounce to the left side. And that's just foul. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. One and two now. And that one lifted in the air center field. Drops into the glove. Runner tagging for third. Safe! Safe. And Michael Brantley is going to come up to hit. That one's in there on one. Definitely a strikeout situation right here. Lots of ways for that go-ahead run to score if the ball's put in play. Next offering is fouled back. 0-2 now. Way high. Fouls it off. Still 1-2. and two. And the right-hander deals. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. One away with a runner at third. And 
a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. Oh, that's a huge strikeout right there. Big second out. Infield was in. They were playing the full court press, and he got the swing and miss. Keeps this one tied. This next at bat should be a lot of fun. The odds of wiggling out of this just went up considerably. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion. Ready to begin the eighth, here is Aaron Judge. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. The wind of the pitch. And a strike in there. Well, the bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. Swung on, belted. That one's back. And caught on the warning track. That's just a really nice catch on the run right there. He saved extra bases for sure. If the pitcher's his friend, he'll give him a second to catch his breath before he's ready to deal the next pitch. Higashioka stands in now, looks at that one inside. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. They can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Brickman. One, two now. In the air, out towards left center. Leon makes the grab. Two down. Now at the plate, Anthony Rizzo. Both the infield and the outfield shifted over to the right. And first offering is fouled off. And that misses off the outside edge. Next pitch is outside. Just off the outside edge. Glaber Torres on deck for the Yankees. In the air right side. Tucker should have it. Makes the grab and that's the inning. One, two, three, go the Yankees. Score remains tied at four. Out of the bottom of the eighth. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Jose Altuve. Oh. First offering, misses the mark. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. Next pitch is inside, and it's two and one. When you get to this part of the order, yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if you will. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. And the leadoff man aboard. Well, that was an important bat in this game, so great job there, stepping up to the challenge. Textbook bat control right there. Got a pitch on the outside, saw it deep into the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the knock. That one finds the corner. 0-2 with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Good job to fight that one off. The 0-2. And ball one. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Kicks and deals. Swing and a ball popped up. And that one gets down. Fair ball. And now runners at the corners. Nobody out. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes. And he usually wins the battle. Check swing, appeal to first. No, he held up. Pitch misses, and that's ball two. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. 
Out of the bullpen for the Yankees, number 97. He comes on for the 35th time this year. Two one. And that one missing low. Going to lay off that pitch down. And here it comes. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. So he needed a strikeout there, and he got it. And now we'll see how they play it defensively. Yeah, now they can move the middle infielders back a little bit, get into double play depth, and look for a ground ball and roll it up, get a big double play, get out of this inning. I tell you what, that was a big strikeout in a spot where they really needed one. Right through there for a strike. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Next one is off the plate. And a count one and two. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Now, Martin Maldonado. That's a strike. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. And that is the inning. Two left for the Astros. It's the ninth, and we are tied. Now into the game, Joe Perez. He takes over as the new first baseman. Now playing first base. Number 30. Here is Glaber Torres. And a pitch. Hard hit left side. Not in time. An infield knock to start the inning. Most of the time, first base to make those picks in the dirt now look down pretty down. easy, but that was a tough one on his backhand side right there. He got his glove down and gave it a good effort. Just couldn't get it to stick in the pocket, so unfortunately his teammate gets tagged with an error. Stanton swings through it for strike one. And that one fouled off. That misses, and it's one and two. Struck him out looking. Well, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up. And as a hitter, it's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in, so you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball, but either way, that's a really nice pitch. And yeah, the batter now, Harrison Bader. There's the strike. One away, tie game. Go ahead, run stands at first. Swings and misses. And the count is 0-2. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Oh, well, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Jose Trevino stepping in now for the Yankees. That one in the air center field. Leon drifts towards it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that'll end the inning. So bottom of the ninth. And here is Pedro Leon. First pitch just misses. At the belt and fires. Just missed. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. The pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. Kicks and fires. And now the count filled up three and two. Kyle Tucker waiting to hit for Houston. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Right-handed reliever. 
This one popped up. Peraza settles underneath it. Makes the grab. One away. So the lineup flips over. Now it's the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. That's in there. It's 0 1. No one strike. Line drive, base hit. Got a pretty ugly 0 for going into this game up until that at bat, so a little sigh of relief there. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. They say you win. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. The pitch. On the ground the first, and that's a fair ball. Tucker headed for third. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. A couple of singles back to back. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. Now that sets up a huge at bat in this ballgame. Looks like we've got a substitution at first. On to pinch run, number 82. And here is your Don Alvarez. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Another 0-2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. In comes the winning run, and the Astros walk it off 5-4. Coming to the ninth inning, it's a tight ball game. No one really wants to play extra, so everyone's looking at how we can get this game over with in regulation. Well, they got the run they needed, put one up, and they put one in the win column. Close one here today, and your final 5-4. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.